grammar. Under grammar, firstly comes standard and non-standard. Standard grammar is the one used in formal writings and novels, while non-standard grammar is used in text messages and such. The use of many exclamation marks or question marks, use of capitalized words, these show that the text is non-standard. Then come sentence types. Number one, declaratives. Declaratives are the statements. Alice is doing the dishes. Imperatives for instruction. Alice, do the dishes. Interrogatives for questions. Alice, did you do the dishes? Active and passive voice. Alex picked up the wallet. The wallet was picked up by Alex. It depends on the importance of the subject and object in question. For example, if Alex is more important, we will use the second sentence as it will create a sense of suspense because the reader will be curious as to who will pick up the wallet. Similarly, if we have a scenario in which Alex is surrounded by many things and the question is what will he pick, we will use the first sentence. Tense, past, present, future. The past tense shows you it's done and gone and you're reading or listening to the person's story and you can't do anything about it. Present, on the other hand, shows that you are there, but you are a silent spectator watching each and everything. You can feel the tension building up. Future tense gives you the ability to feel that you can change what's going to happen. You are kind of hopeful, but also frightened depending on the context and scenario. Sentence structure. There are four main types of sentences. Simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, and minor sentence. So basically, these different sentence structures are used in writing to make the text more engaging because you would not want to read Jane is tall, we go to the same clubs she studies in our school. Instead, you would prefer it in one long, complex sentence. Jane, the tall girl from the club, also studies in our school. Minor and short sentences may be used to bring in dramatic effects. I looked all over for him until I was told about the new reality. He was gone. Or, I asked someone where he was gone.